What is good, Vibe Gang? Last video of the night. We're going to continue with the Perception album of my man NF. Shout out to everybody, all the donos out there from the NF community that are also donating to, for me to listen to other people than NF. So shout out to you for bringing me to more new type of music, rappers and singers that I've never heard before in my life. You guys are awesome. I appreciate you. Listen, I said it in the last video. This NF is different. So far, this album has been so different than the rest of the other ones that I've listened to that I could appreciate the growth. I could appreciate the, the you know, the, 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 the struggle and everything that he talks about throughout the whole entire um, discography of NF. NF to me, and that's why NF is in my top 10. That's a fact. NF to me is, is uh, that, that type of music that I like to listen to to put things in perspective, to, uh, to understand things. So when you get a little bit lost, it's good to listen to music that brings you back to, to remind you of the pain that you had to go through to get to where you are and for you not to throw it away again. You feel me? So it, 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 it puts me, it, it keeps the balance in my life where it needs to be at. That's enough talking. Federico, cut the beat. NF, my life from the Perception album. NF, my guy, it is on you. Let's go. I mean this with love when I say it I wanna answer the phone when you call me The problem is it's 10 a.m. and you're already drinking You're probably already wasted What's the point of having conversation with somebody that Won't remember we had conversation Yeah, we always talk about the same things We just say them different Try to fix it crazy, isn't it? You How am I gonna have a conversation with somebody that is drunk? That's one, two And with every conversation we have We're saying the same things But we just say it different it means you don't want to be in this phone call no more than what than me than me. We both don't want to be in this phone call, so we're just trying to chop it up and bring up the same things over and over again, just so we can have something to talk about. Is he talking about who's he talking about? Who's he talking about? But we had conversation, yeah, we always talk about the same things We just say them different, try to fix it Crazy, isn't it? You say mama's always proud and play the videos of us as kids, I get it I think that both of us live in the past So we take for granted the present Maybe next time I'm in Michigan, I'll come and visit We ain't got a lot in common, but both of us miss her We can sit inside your smoke for living room and Oh, he's talking about his dad? Okay, so he's talking about his pops So let's go back to what he said I'm sorry, I know you guys don't like it when I do this But uh, let me go back, let me, let me get it from the beginning you call me the problem is it's 10 a.m. and you're already drinking you probably already wasted what's the point of having conversation with somebody that won't remember we had conversation yeah we always talk about the same things we just say them different try to fix it crazy isn't it you say mama's always proud and play the videos of us as kids i get it i think that both of us live in the past so we take for granted the present maybe next time i'm in michigan i'll come and visit we ain't got a lot in common but both of us miss her we, we don't have a lot in common but both of us both of us miss her and this is where it goes back to what I was saying a long time ago in, a, in another video. Us as parents, fathers, mothers, whatever. We need to understand that from day one, our kids need us for guidance, for help, to survive. They need us from day one. Right. What could happen in your life that could stop you from providing for that job? Whether it be emotionally, financially, it don't matter. What? Drugs? Yeah, I could see I could see that happen. I've been there. I already I already dealt with that. I was still there for my kids though. No matter how fucked up I got, I, I always made sure my kids were good. I make them laugh. I never left them. I didn't. I, I, there was never been a time frame that I was not there with my kids. I was always around them. But mentally, I wasn't. 
So having that connection with your parents is very important. Having a connection with your child is very important. Because if, if you were not fit to be a parent, to raise them, if you didn't want that responsibility, then it's as simple as you should have not opened your legs. Or you should not stick it in. You should have just been celibate and lived your life. People say that, that th these kids are crazy now. That it's because of us. We can't blame nobody but the parent. The parents, though, is the one to guide that child for excellence. And I understand, I understand everybody's situation is different. I get that it, 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 it's, for some people, it's hard. Some people have bigger, like, vices than I did. And it's just a harder situation for them to get out of to, to take care of this child. And I get that. I, I understand life happens. You know, we make mistakes. I get it. But when you're done making your mistake, because I, I, I've, I've been there and I've seen it from a lot of people, that, yeah, life gets rough. But always when, when you're having that rough patch in your life, there's always that little glimpse that you run into, whether it be a good day, whether it be a good week, whether it be a good month. You always have that glimpse right there that everything's going your way. You get you, everything that you've been working for and trying to is succeeding. That's the moment right there in your life that you have to sit down and think about. I need to change because I want to feel this way forever. I want to feel this way forever. So I'm going to take this opportunity that not everything's going my way to start doing more positive stuff and keep on trying to get these things to happen in my life so me and my family can be okay. But no, sometimes that happens and then one wrong thing happens and it completely brings you back down that tunnel and you can't get out of it. And you know who suffers besides you? Your kids. That's who suffers the most is your family because they're watching it happen to you. And there's nothing they could do about it. Absolutely nothing. A relationship between a child and his parents or her parents is a very, very strong bond that we take advantage of and we do not understand the power that a relationship between you and your kids can hold in your mental health. We just don't know until we act, until we get it done. Until we lose it all, that's how we find out. Maybe next time I'm in Michigan, I'll come and visit. We ain't got a lot in common, but both of us miss her. We can sit inside your smoke for living room and tear up together. That's real. I might do some things you don't like. We all make mistakes, that's just life. They might say I change, that's all right. That's all right, that's all right That's just my life, my life My life, my life That's just my life, my life My life, my life How can you make a song that has a very strong message in it? How are you gonna do that and then do a banging ass hook like that? And I, you can't do that to me, man I got glaucoma You can't be doing that type of shit, man that was hard. I like that hook. My life, my life, my life. My... I'm gonna bump it in the car like crazy. And you know, NF obviously, obviously, NF went through it, or is going through it. I don't, I don't know yet, but I don't know what's going on right now in his life. But at this point, obviously, he's still going through something with his dad. And as a father, me. If my son makes a song like this, let's say my son becomes the next rap artist or the, or the next big thing in rap, and he makes a song like this, if that doesn't tell you, get your shit together, then nothing else is going to. That means you're always going to want to be a piece of shit and, and you don't want to change because you're comfortable being a piece of shit. That, that's how I see it. And NF, man, I'm telling you, we... You and me, I don't even give a fuck if we record it. I don't even care. Call me on the phone and we'll have a conversation on the phone for all I care. 
I don't give a fuck about none of that, no views, and I don't care about that. Call me on the phone. You can call me on the cell phone. Not like that. Pause. I need to talk to you, bro. My life, my life, my life. That's just my life, my life. My life, my life. That's just my life, my life. My life, my life. That's just my life, my life. My life, my life. My life, my life. You know my patience is very thin. Wish I was there again. I'm not embarrassed to say that we've always had issues. I'm embarrassed to say that we never took care of them. Yeah, pain will always find its way to the surface. No matter how deep you bury them. Growing up, I felt like. Pain is always going to come up from the surface, no matter how much you bury it. See, I, in the Hispanic community, I can speak because I, I dealt with it. I'm, I'm dealing with it to this day. Me and my father has have had a very strange relationship. And throughout the years, as I, you know, got off of drugs and got my life straightened out, got better, got married, got a couple of kids, you know, I, I'm living the life that he wanted me to live. I started seeing that he softened up a little bit towards me. And, and our relationship right now is, it, it's good. It's a very good relationship me and my dad had. But before it, absolutely wasn't. It, and, and it, it, it wasn't because of two things. Hard headedness between both of us and not wanting to sit down and knowing when one is messing up and when the other one is, is messing up. We don't want to see each other's point of views. We didn't want to do any of that. But this is the problem. Yes, my, me and my dad have a very good relationship right now. But nothing that happened in the past was ever resolved. Like what he said, it just, you just buried it, buried it deep until one day it comes back into the surface and then everything blows up. Like that type of that type of stuff, it, it's as me as I can speak for myself. Me going through it, the way he's speaking about it, I know what needs to be done, and I know that I, I it needs to happen eventually. But I'm kind of scared to ruin what we have already. I'm scared to ruin the relationship me and my father have already because it's, this is as good as it's ever been. And I feel like if I bring something up that is a sensitive subject to him, it's going to ruin that. And I don't want that to happen. So it, it, it's everybody's situation, like I said, I always say it, it's different. And I, I get it that there's some things that parents do to kids that is not, that, that it's not, Forgivable. You can't. It's just, I know it says in the Bible that you need to forgive everyone, but there's some things where humans, there's some things that you just not, it's not forgivable. It's a bunch of sick people out there and shit happens like that. And thankfully, I never had to deal with any of that in my, in my youth or anything like that. But there's some parents that they deserve to just die for the things that they've done to their kids. But if, if your parents have not passed that point or even got even close to that point and it's just a, a, a mental problem between you guys or an emotional problem between you guys, it, it's going to be fucked up. It's going to be messed up for me to say, do it if I'm not doing it, but understand at least have the conversation already in your head that eventually this conversation has to happen. In order to fix whatever it is it that we're going that you guys are going through, whether it be mother or whether it be father and son or mother and daughter, however the situation is, the situation is a situation. But actually sitting down and actually talking to each other and, and just find a way to bring it up without having that other person's defense come up. Right now I, I'm 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 trying to make up for a lot of things with my kids. So when you see me that I'm not doing, I'm not going live, or I mean, not live, but if you see that one day I don't record videos or I, I cut it short, I only do like two videos or three videos, it's because I either have plans with my kids or I want to talk to my kids because I didn't see them all day. And I try, I want to get that time in with my kids. And, we're, and with of course with the wife too. But Knowing how much I miss for my kids, I have a lot, a lot to make up for that. Like even today, I was not going to do videos today. I, 
at all. My wife told me, babe, you got to do it. Your goal is 100,000. You can't get to 100,000 if you don't record videos. So go ahead and, and, and go take a shower. Do what is it that you need to do. And go ahead and, and, and start doing some videos tonight. And I went ahead and did it. And then my kid came to me and told me, dad, you got this. So that support, it was always there. I was just too dumb and all into my own brain that I didn't see. So what I'm trying to say, I know it's taking forever. What I'm trying to say is when it, when you get that second chance, please don't fuck it up. Don't mess it up. Because you're not going to get a third. That, that's already... They were, they were grateful enough to give you a second chance. You're never going to get a third chance. So do everything in your power to make sure that your family's okay. That, that's what I had to say. I'm sorry. No, it never really got me eventually. I'll always find its way to the surface No matter how deep you bury him Growing up I felt like no one ever really got me Eventually I took that out on relationships Woo! I put my arm around you when I mean it I love you to death These are the moments I know I'm always hold on He's just gonna keep on saying things that Is gonna make me keep on talking That's another thing that's, That type of energy travels That type of energy travels to Relationships with your girlfriend Or relationship with your friends or relationship with your job, it all all that affects everything that you, the way you raise your child, the way you treat your child, all that's gonna affect how that person's gonna be as a as a adult in this world. And that's where you get people that beat girls, and that's how you get, and the cycle keeps on going over and over and over. And it's never gonna break until somebody decides they're gonna break the cycle. So I mean. It's, it's gonna, it'll be a hard road. There's a lot of admitting that you have to do of things that you don't want to ever admit that you've done. There's things that you have to do and it's going to be very uncomfortable. You're not going to want to do it. But you know and you understand that it needs to be done. So what I had to go when I, when I, when I started seeing, talking to somebody and I started, I got off drugs and everything and I started to be like well I have to face all this and it feels like I'm facing it by myself if I had NF music back then it probably would have helped me a little bit more but just because I could just zone into the music get into the mind in this in the mindset and try to figure it out but I was going at it by myself my wife had my back and everything but I had to win her trust and I knew my kids had my back no matter what it was because they I know they left me to death but it's, it's just, I treated them bad when I was on drugs. I treated them horribly bad. And some of that stems from the relationship between me and my dad. So I brought it down to my family. That's why I, if my wife and my kids tell me right now, dad, stop doing YouTube. I'm going to stop it. I'm going to delete my channel and you guys will never see me ever again because my family's asking me to do it but the way my family loves me and the way they know how this helps me mentally with my own mental health they support it more than anybody in the world I got I got subscribers from all different parts of this world and I appreciate each and every one of you the support that I get from my family is different. And I had it all along. And that's the fucked up part. I had it all along. And I almost fucked it up. I put my arm around you when I mean it. I love you to death. These are the moments I know I'm going to always hold on to and cherish them. Yeah. Life's about taking chances, making moves. Not about what you did, it's what you do. Build on what you got and learn from what you lose. And never let people distract you from being you. I might do some things you don't like. We all make mistakes, that's just life. life. They might say I change, that's all right. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. That's, that's just my life, my life. My life, my life. That's just my life, my life. My life, my life. That's just my life, my life. My life, my life. That's just my life, my life. My life, my life. My life, my life. That's just my, that's just my, that's just my. That's just my, that's just my, that's just my That's just my, that's just my, that's just my
That's just my life, my life. My life, my life. My life, my life. That's just my life, my life. I ain't gonna lie. The beat and the chorus in this is absolutely fire, man. I'm liking this track so much. It touched. Once again, NF, you got me, brother. You got me. That's just my life, my life. My life, my life. My life, my life. That's just my life, my life. My life, my life. Yeah, that's just my life, my life. My life, my life. That's just my life, my life. My life, my life. My life, my life. Go play all the way to the end. Play all the way to the end. But I'm telling you right now. Hold on. There's more. A little bit more. You never know. He could throw a two second clip in there. Okay. Oh, no. Don't do that. Don't do that, sir. He was already about to go play the next one. All right, cool. Stop. My computer's going crazy. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out this long with me. You know how I get when it comes to NF. I apologize. You like the new hat, though. Charcoal gray and red and white. Ooh. Oh, I love these hats. It's an addiction. I know. Like, comment, subscribe. Do all that, guys. Thank you so much for all the love and support that you guys always give me on my videos. You guys are awesome. I'm Vibery Actions. I'm going to talk to you guys tomorrow. got more coming tomorrow. I love all of you. Please be safe. Love each other. You already know what it is.